In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to show you one of the best shotgun running formations in Madden NFL 21. Something that you can audible into um, in key situations when you need to ground uh, or uh, ground and pound in the game. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my channel is devoted to helping people get better at Madden 21. We upload four different tips and tricks videos every single day on YouTube trying to break down some type of concept, a route, a run play, a uh, money combination, a defensive scheme, a blitz, something practical that you can utilize that is going to help you be more effective and win more games in Madden 21. And so if that's something that you're interested in getting better at, I would like to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And real quick, a lot of you that watch my videos have not actually formally subscribed yet. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, so be sure to subscribe. And also, I would ask you to go ahead and join my Discord. I'd like to get all of my YouTube subscribers to join my Discord by the end of 2020. And so, if you have not joined the Discord yet, you can join it for free. All you got to do is click the link in the description, and it's a, a build. It will allow you to get more bang for your buck, if you will, or more bang for your time, honestly, because it's completely free to join the Discord. But... Um, the reason I want you to join the Discord is because it's a great place to talk Madden and to ask follow-up questions to the content that you're consuming on YouTube. So if you watch a video, then you're able to bounce ideas off of people in the Discord that you would not necessarily be able to do just in the YouTube comments, okay? So I want to encourage you, if you haven't joined the Discord, to go ahead and do that. But what I wanted to talk about today is a two-back kind of scheme little mini running scheme out of my Arizona Cardinals offensive guide now if this scheme interests you uh, I would encourage you to go ahead and pick up my full ebook which is in the description below it's over 125 pages on the Arizona Cardinals playbook which I believe to be the best passing playbook in Madden 21 has the best combination of routes and formations that you can really really torch people uh, in this game so if you want to take your passing offense to the next level and also in my opinion has really really good shotgun running plays um, to complement it and that you can audible to these running plays in no huddle situations so I talked a little bit about one yesterday it was from the gun um, doubles Y offset and I, I believe this is a very um, I think this is a very good formation to use the one we're going to talk about today is coming from this two back here within a split slot and the slot offset so this is a little mini scheme that I'll go to and we've shown you some passing plays from this formation today but I wanted to show you a couple of different uh, running plays that you can use that's really going to help your offense really be able to just consistently you know work the ball up and down the field on your opponent so the running plays we're going to be going over are inside zone split halfback off tackle fullback inside halfback gut rpo counter read hb off tackle rpo read bubble and hb slip screen now um and then the play I, I like to come out in is the shovel option okay now what we're going to do is we're going to just do a random nickel play because obviously you're going to see a lot of nickel in this year's game okay so basically what this again and you can get this whole scheme in our ebook in the description and it's really really an i think a really really good ebook especially for people who want to pass the ball but who also want to run a little bit more spread some people like to run out of the spread and you can certainly do that in this guide um, it does have all the plays there for you to be able to do that but let's talk about this so Part of the reason I really like this is because of the shovel option. What you'll see here from the shovel option, I broke this down a few times, and I, I pitched it to him a little bit late. But when the defense is optioning the quarterback, which most people will, and of course I, I kind of thought I thought I had my settings set. Um, most people will option the quarterback, and what I mean by that is they'll put their defense on conservative. And if they do that, if they put their defense on conservative, I don't know, they must have patched it. Um, if they if they do that where they put their defense on conservative, one of the two running backs are going to be open, and it's basically on you to figure out. If this guy shoots out, you see here I can hit it back to Aaron Jones. If he doesn't shoot out, then I can hit it to my back um, out of the backfield. The other thing I also have uh, the opportunity to do is if I – you see how even if they shoot out at the running back, if I just keep going with my quarterback – Oftentimes, the defense will actually kind of over overtake. You see right there, CLE overtakes it, and then you can go with your running back. So, shovel option is one of those plays. 
I actually really like it. Um, you can also flip the play, you see here, just like this, and it looks like you're just motioning this guy over, and you can actually get him as a motion snap, and you can run it right and left in a fairly, fairly, you know, relatively routine fashion. You see here, it literally just looks like I'm just motioning this receiver to the left. I get that lead blocker out there, and then now I got a really, really good opportunity to stretch the defense. I actually really like to flip this run kind of in a no huddle situation or something where they're not, you know, they're kind of scrambling to set up their defense. And I find that this actually does a pretty good job at beating a lot of the meta run defenses that you're probably going to face. The next run that I really like out of this is the halfback off tackle. And the reason why is because it's kind of almost like an outside zone run. But if you know how to do the double juke, which basically I have a video on that. And if you don't know how to do the double juke and you want to know, just shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-216. 3644. Four. It's also in the description and in the top left hand corner of your screen. But if you want to learn how to do that, uh, that move, I can shoot you the link to the video on how to do it. But the move, the double juke move is really, really good, especially on these shotgun running plays. You'll notice that you get pretty good wide blocking. And the reason I really like this run from halfback off tackle is what I've found is this is a really difficult run to shoot. And if you're the one thing you have to watch out for is a block shed on your slot receiver. So what I like to do, same kind of thing, it can kind of look the same as everything else in these runs, and just motion him to the right, and basically I can cut it back. It really works like a wide zone within this running uh, set. So you know what you can really do with it, again, you can run it outside uh, if the hole's outside, but you could also cut it up, and really you're just doing a thing of you're picking the right running lane to go through. But what you'll find is this run is not very easily shot. They can't shoot the gap very well. The same thing I like to do here from fullback inside, um, and this one's a little bit more of a direct hitting run. This is probably the best overall run in this in this thing here. You don't have to motion the receiver, but if you do motion the receiver, it gives you really, really good blocking. I just think the blocking on this run is really, really tough. It's really, really good. Um, it's hard to stop this run in the backfield, in my opinion. Um, it's hard to shoot it from a lot of the nickel sets that you'll see. Um, and so I just think this does a good job. Occasionally that will happen right there where you'll get a block shed on him. And really, if you just click on to that, um, if you just, before the ball is snapped, you can click on to lineman and it's going to allow you to block a little bit better. So here I'll just click on to that left tackle cause that's kind of the key block. And, you know, and then basically I'm just reading the left tackle. If there's a, if, if I can go outside, I'm going to go outside. If I can't go outside, then I won't. So like, this is like two for five double A gap. This thing can borderline kill two four five double A gap, um, and let me show you another look at that real quick. So this is two four five double A gap, and this is mid blitz. This is the play that everybody runs, right? Everybody runs. Just ID this outside guy and click onto him right here, and you'll 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 realize that pretty quickly you can break runs on two four five double A gap like crazy. A lot of people like to run these um, you know kind of defenses lately, and as long as they don't get a deep you know a lucky block shed. You're going to be surprised at how consistent uh, these runs are. And, again, I just like to ID that defensive end. I see that as the key block um, within this offense or within this run play. And so if you ID him, oftentimes they'll be able to block him. And then the next play is halfback gut. Now, this, this play right here is a little bit more of an inside zone almost like type of run. It's not as good as the halfback off tackle, even though the handoff animation is actually kind of similar to that. Um, but what you're really wanting to do with this specific run is you're wanting to kind of start out wide, and then you're going to want to cut back. So you're going to kind of run wide and then cut right down in this little hole right here. Now, most of the time, that hole is going to open up. And like I said, all of the runs from two back are really, really difficult to shoot this year because you have that lead blocker um, from your running back. Okay, so halfback gut. You know, in the beginning of the year, I would say I was running that a lot more than I was running halfback off tackle. Now, I would rather just run halfback off tackle because with halfback off tackle, you get two different decisions. You can either run it outside or you can run it inside. With halfback gut, you can do the same thing, you know, and you can do the double juke cutback as well, that same kind of cutback that you can do out of halfback off tackle. One other thing really quick you can do is a little stop and go in the backfield, and you can kind of turn them around. Obviously, if the defensive end is standing right there, you wouldn't want to do that. But if they're, you know, if they're over committing, but you see here, I mean, it's, it's a simple run. It's very similar to the halfback off tackle. And then the last play from this specific formation is the inside zone split. Now, this play right here um, is a really good short yardage play. It's a good, like, 
fourth and inches, um, third and inches type of play because it's really hard to shoot. The way the blocking is designed on this play is going to make it really, really difficult for your opponent to shoot the gap. And really what you're wanting to do, what I like to do, is to use that double juke mechanic in the backfield. So essentially the line is going to make it really hard to shoot, but you're not going to be able to necessarily burst through the, you know, through the middle. As you can see there, um, depending on the pressure, they can kind of hang in the middle because you're not, your, your fullback is shooting around. So that's where I really like to use the cutback on this specific run um, just to make sure, like you see right here, something like this. Now you can kind of skinny up in that little hole right there. But again, what, what I would recommend on inside zone, and this is probably the one I run, again, short yardage primarily is where I run this. But that little cut right there, that little double juke, I find that that works really, really well on this run. Another thing you can do, a little stop and go, and then you can kind of come back right in this little lane right here. So you can you can actually turn this run into a really, really good run play. This run used to be a little bit better um, because you used to be able to get just better blocking from your fullback on this play. Now your fullback is really going to just kind of seal the edge for your backside cut. So, again, if I did something like that right there, then you can notice the fullback – that block matters because it's it's almost like and this is why i like it it's almost like you're turning that run into kind of a stop and go from the trips tight end that you can use um so overall that's a pretty decent run the next thing i really like to do is i love these rpo runs from the split slot so you can audible from split offset to split slot fairly easily and this rpo counter is literally just that it's an rpo counter so um, you can run this power, uh, the power run. Now, that's probably the worst run, um, in my opinion, if you were just running the ball. That's not going to be the best thing in this play. The best two things in this play is either to um, shoot it out to the back quick. Uh, as you can see there, you're going to get two nice little blockers. That's what you want to do against something like um, mid, mid blitz. So if you're facing mid blitz, and uh, what you'll notice here, is as soon as you know if, if they come down and blitz me you know literally it's just quick pop pass it out to the back and if i'm i you you really want to be on the left hash when you run this specific play um you don't want to be on the right hash because you're not going to have enough space to be able to throw this ball but if you're on the left hash and they're running this is a just a really good play for like blitz heavy type of thing make sure that you id um, that defensive end or whatever. And what you'll notice here is if you just get it out here quick to the back, a lot of times he'll actually break that tackle or he'll get off that tackle and he'll be able to go. This is also really good. Like this would be a look right here um, where I would run something like this play right here. And again, you're really just wanting to check and see here at the snap, does he shoot out? Now, as you see there, he does shoot out. Now, one thing you can also do off of this RPO counter um, RPO counter read play is you could motion um, or I'm sorry you can't motion because of the push motion but you can you can basically if they you know obviously if they shoot out then it's just simply read option and you're just taking your power run that power run is actually fairly good it's just one of those runs that you have to kind of you, you just have to kind of monitor now that's against a man aligned look. Now, what if they base align? If they base align right here, you see that that backer is going to go down and you're going to be able to shoot that out to the back. So, again, if they're man aligning, more often than not, you're going to, you know, you're going to go to something different. But like right here, you'll notice um, if I look out here at the right side, you see that 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 lineman should kind of stay home. And then you're able to run this kind of power sweep in behind it. So you're always going to have a numbers advantage with this run play. And then obviously if they're not disciplined, what you can do uh, in this, if they try to kind of sell out against the run, which I actually find this to be very rare, but you'll notice here if they crash down, you can you can take the ball with, with Rodgers. Um, the other thing that you'll notice on this is if they, you know, if they option the running back, meaning they crash down on the ball, then you're still having to make that read on that outside guy. So, like right here, he goes down, and then I'm able to scramble out here like this. It turns into a nice little RPO. You can actually run the ball with your quarterback fairly well. 
The next play that I want to talk about from here, we've already talked about halfback off tackle, and I just like, if you look at this formation, he's a little bit, it's just a little bit better. Um, the halfback off tackle is a little bit better from split slot, in my opinion, than it is from the other one. But the other, um, the last run that I want to talk about is the other, kind of the other version of that quick little bubble screen. And again, I really like this um, in situations where I'm facing heavy pressure. This RPO read bubble is really, really good. So again, same basic principle here. Uh, if they crash down, I'm just hitting that back quick. And you'll get a lot of plays like this right here. I mean, when I face the Blitz, my favorite formation against the Blitz is this two-back formation in the Arizona book. I, I will run this two-back formation all game against someone. If they're running mid-Blitz, um, this thing is going to kill them. And the reason why is because you're going to consistently be able to work the ball up and down the field. Now, again, your primary read on this RPO read bubble is that defensive end, and then you're also reading whether or not that guy crashes down on the outside. If the defensive end stands up, just give the ball to the little inside zone, and you'll be surprised at how many runs you'll break right down the middle with that little RPO um, inside zone. The next thing that you got to look at, though, is if they stand up, See here that corner crashes, I'm able to get out, and I'm able to go. This RPO is one of the best ones in the game, in my opinion, because of how frequently you will literally frequently see this. Um, you will oftentimes see this guy crash on the outside, especially if it's on the outside corner. You'll notice that he'll actually crash a lot. He'll, he'll crash more than not. And, again, you want to just run this to the wide side of the field. As you can see, it's a very successful little RPO. So, all in all, and the last play that I just want to show you is just something I wrinkle in um, from this little scheme here. But this is just something to keep them honest. But slip, the slip screen is really, really good from two back. Um, it just What happens is man-to-man -man coverage this year does not really hang with the slip screen as good as it used to. And so they really have to kind of be monitoring that and watching that. Your first read is actually going to be this quick shoot flat to the H back on this play. And what you'll see here, this little quick, and I like to slide protect to the right here, but if they blitz off that outside, you see that I can easily just take that running back route for a quick gain. So you have that option as well, and that's going to force them to have to think about other things within this. But oftentimes what you'll see here is you'll find that this right here is really, really good route against man-to-man -man coverage. It's just a simple slip screen, but very effective from... Uh, shotgun two back so that is our split slot mini scheme running base um, again we gave you some passing plays as well this morning uh, from this but this is a really really good little scheme out of the Arizona Cardinals playbook and like I said if you guys want to pick up the full scheme and actually be able to run all of it, run the whole air raid offense that I have in here, um, all you have to do is click the link in the description. It'll take you to uh, the checkout page where you can pick up the ebook. And like I said, the ebook is really in depth. It's over 125 pages of material with over 10 hours of video content. So a really, really good option uh, for you guys. Also, if you're looking to, um, get more exclusive Madden tips. Maybe you really enjoyed these full scheme breakdowns. I do full scheme and high level Madden tips every single week for my text message members. Um, it's a really deep and insightful video. Typically it's over almost always over 45 minutes to an hour long and it comes out every single Monday. Now, um, all you have to do to sign up for this is just shoot me a text message. My cell phone number is 812 Two one six three six four four. That number is also posted in the top left corner of your screen, and it's also in the description. So just shoot me a text message. Let me know you'd like to receive um, my text message membership schemes, and I can shoot you the playlist every week um, that has the updated uh, updated version of them. We have um, full schemes from the Gun Bunch, the Big Nickel Over G, the Minnesota Vikings Single Back Trio, the uh, Gun Cluster and several other formations as well. So if you're looking to get better, I highly recommend the text message membership. We've really been able to help a lot of people. One of the guys sent me a text message, a text message and he said, your text message membership is better than a lot of the paid guides that I've purchased in the past. So 
um, really, really high level quality content over there that you can pick up as well as, and like I said, um, if you think the text message membership is good, I promise you the ebook, you will be blown away with the amount of detail and the amount of, um, just exhausting almost to the point of like fine pointed, truly helping people get better, truly helping people understand offense and defense and Madden. And in my opinion, the ebook is phenomenal and will definitely help you get better at this game. So I want to thank you so much for your time today. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll have another one that goes live at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, so make sure to be on the lookout for that. And then we'll be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. See you guys.